Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Here. Director Wilson is not present. Director Hayes. Here. Director Augustin is excused. Director Moore. Here. Director Edwards. Here. And President Bradley. Here. We have a quorum. I call the meeting order. From the President, addendum number one to the plans and specifications for letting number 8656 <coughs> Penrose Park Velodrome. Project number R2014-87154, St. Louis, Missouri. Preliminary approval for letting number 8654 PA system replacement phase two, St. Louis Lambert International Airport. Supplemental agreement number 16 to PSA number 1138, electrical, mechanical, and plumbing design services, Lambert St. Louis International Airport, St. Louis, Missouri. Maintenance agreement between Metropolitan St. Louis Sewer District and the City of St. Louis for consideration of approval of sewer plans and of the issuance of a sewer permit by MSD for storm water management facilities for a development known as Forest Park Dual Path System Extension, Kings Highway Corridor at 301 South Kings Highway, St. Louis, Missouri, and City Block, 2022. And the board declares as emergency work, Carondelet Park, Lyle House, Window Repair and Replacement, St. Louis, Missouri. From the Director of Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following permits for XT, XTNet be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. From an existing utility pole on the northwest corner of North Broadway and Warren Street, to a proposed handhold approximately five feet west of the utility pole. From an existing utility pole on the east side of the alley, 15 feet north of Ridge, alley between Union and Academy, and next to 5239 Ridge, to a proposed handhold approximately five feet north of the utility pole and 20 feet north of Ridge. From an existing utility pole on the east side of Cora, approximately 18 feet north of Dr. Martin Luther King Drive to a proposed handhold approximately five feet north of utility pole and 23 feet north of Dr. Martin Luther King Drive. From proposed handhold on the north side of Ridge, approximately 138 feet northwest of Law Street to the existing utility pole, approximately five feet northwest of the proposed handhold and 146 feet northwest of Law Street. From proposed handhold on the south side of Connecticut, approximately 325 feet west of Sublette to the existing utility pole, approximately five feet east of the proposed handhold and 320 feet west of Sublette. Proposed handhold at 287 South Sarah to existing utility pole at 287 South Sarah from proposed handhold on the west side of South Sarah, approximately 145 feet north of Duncan, to the existing utility pole, approximately five feet north of the handhold, and 150 feet north of Duncan Avenue. From proposed handhold on the south, south side of Julian, approximately 190 feet southeast of Amherst Place, to existing utility pole, approximately five feet southeast of the proposed handhold and 195 feet southeast of Amherst Place. Recommendation that the following permits for MCI Metro access be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. Two inch HDPE pipe to be placed for fiber, fiber cable starting at 5600 Del Mar. Place a new conduit and existing handhold located on the west side of the intersection of Clara and Del Mar. Placing east for 85 feet at this point, turn south, boring <coughs> Delmore, and continue down the east side of Clara for 963 feet, ending at 63 Kingsbury Place. Two inch HDPE pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at 1101 South Kings Highway Boulevard. Place conduit from handhold located on the southwest corner, southeast corner of Oakland and South Kings Highway place con conduit west along the south side of Oakland for 460 feet, place new handhold at 40, 4971 Oakland and continue west for 1,000 feet and place new handhold at 5050 Oakland and continue west for 1,200 feet 
and enter existing handhold located at 1000 Mark Macklin Avenue. New fiber will continue from this point to another permit. Two-inch HDPE pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at existing handhold located at 1000 Macklin. Place fiber in existing conduit head heading west for 5,100 feet. At this point, place new handhold at 6400 Oakland. New fiber will be placed from this point south to another permit. On another permit. Two-inch HDPE pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at 6400. Oakland from from this handhold located on the corner of Oakland and Tam place conduit south for 500 feet at this point place new handhold at 40 at 1046 Tam and continue south for 540 feet at this point place a new handhold at 6401 Clayton from this point one leg continues west along the north side of Clayton ending at 6413 Clayton etc. 2-inch HDP pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at 733 North Union Boulevard. Place new handhold hand and continue south along the west side of Union for 540 feet. At this point, place new handhold at 5350 Delmore and continue south 400 feet. And place new handhold at 1 Washington Turns. And continue placing west along the north side of Washington Turns. 840 feet west at 17 Washington turns. Two inch HDPE pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at 5454 Delmore from existing handhold located at the, at the intersection of Delmore and Belt. Place conduit along the east side of Belt for 445 feet ending at 5479 in right. 2-inch HDP pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at 5854 Delmore. Place conduit from existing handhold located on the north side of Delmore at the intersection of Laurel South along the west side of Laurel for 1,022 feet. At this point, place new handhold at 459 Laurel Street. From this location, one leg will continue east along the south side of Alley heading east for 675 feet at this point. Continue north along the west side of Kingsbury Square, etc. Two inch HDPE pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at 6211 Delmore at the west side of the intersection of Skinker and Delmore. Place from existing handhold along north side of Delmore for 620 feet, ending, leaving St. St. Louis City right away at 6261 Delmore. Two-inch HDP pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at one Brooking Drive at existing handhold located at the intersection of Lindell and Skinker. Place conduit south along the west side of Skinker for 530 feet. At this point, turn and continue west along the north side of Forsyth for 620 feet, placing new handhold at 6300 Forsyth, leaving St. Louis City right away. 2-inch HDPE pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at 6825 Clayton from existing handhold bore and place conduit to the west crossing Skinker and continue along south side of Clayton for 600 feet. At this point, place new handhold at 7036 Clayton and continue west, leaving St. Louis City right away at 6300 Clayton Road. 2-inch HDPE pipe to be placed for fiber cable starting at 5708 Oakland from existing handhold place conduit east for 192 feet to a point south and continue down the east side of Highlander Drive 700 feet ending at 1110 Highlands Plaza Drive. Recommendation that permits for AT&T be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. From manhole near 5295 Waterman, bore 905 feet to a new 4x4 street rated handhold at 47 Portland Place in Eastman, place new 4x4 pad with, and fiber box. From handhole at 47 Portland, bore one fiber 
47 feet to rise pole at same address. From hand hole board, 699 feet to a new 3 by 5 by 3 feet hand hole at 5290 Waterman. From hand hole at 5290 Waterman board, 269 feet to rise at 5295 Waterman. From hand hole board, 335 feet to rise pole at 15 Waterman. From hand hole board, 416 feet to rise pole at 14 Waterman. From manhole near 6810 Southwest, bore 469 feet to a new 3 by 5 by 3 feet handhold six, at 6767 Southwest. From handhold dig, 1 feet to a new 4 by 4 pad with fiber box. From handhold at 6767 Southwest, bore 55 feet to rise pole at same address. From pole at 2700 Ellendale board two fibers, 188 feet to rise pole at same address. From pole at 2700 Ellendale board 446 feet to rise pole at corner of Lowry and Southwest. Start from existing AT&T handhold at the side of 1500 Park and bore and place one fiber cable east two, two feet off edge of sidewalk and grass for 150 feet across Dillon to an existing pipe at the side of 1419 Carroll Street. Starting at Power Pole across from 10 East Bremen, bore across East Bremen for 40 feet entering customer property at 10 East Bremen. Placing new 24 by 36 by 36 inch handhold at, in the alley at the rear of 1315 Allen then bore north across alley 75 feet to a new building construction at 1400 Russell and place fiber cable. Recommendation that the filing permits for charter be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. Starting at the power pole at the rear of 5201 Linden, Lindenwood, set a vault in the utility easement and bore east 500 feet east Placing a vault in the rear of 5023 Lindenwood in utility easement. Bore 500 feet east, placing a vault in the utility easement in the rear of 4927 Lindenwood. Bore 250 feet to rear of 3831 South Kings Highway, placing the vault on private property. Starting at the power pole across from 2918 Ivanhoe, set a vault in the utility easement and bore north. 300 feet under Interstate 44, placing a vault in the in the in the sidewalk in the rear of 6724 Mormon Duke. Bore west 600 feet and place a vault in the sidewalk at northeast corner of Ivan, Ivanhoe and Hoffman. Bore north 350 feet to 6801 Hoffman Avenue. Starting at the power pole at the rear of 1833 No Industrial Avenue, place a vault in the sidewalk, then board 200 feet to 1824 Knox. Recommendation that permit for Union Electric doing business in Samory, Missouri be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. To install service for new apartment building at Swan, west of Newstead and south of Manchester, set pole on Swan for overhead wire crossing and approximately 25 feet of trenching for conduit across alley north of Swan. Install an anchor and replace two poles for new service at 4428 Swan and two 15 feet trenches across alley for underground services at 4431 through 37 and 4423 through 29 Norfolk. Place conduit on private property east of the right of way but the contractor may set up the drill rig on the right-of-way right of South Taylor. Install 171 feet of concrete in case conduit in street right-of-way. Duncan, on Duncan, installed by open-cut method. 51 feet of concrete in case conduit in right-of-way, Euclid and Laclede. From the Director of Public Utilities and Public Safety. Joint recommendation that the following subdivisions be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. Botanical Heights Home LLC to subdivide land at 4116, 4120 through 22 McCree, and 4136 and 4140 McCree 
and City Block 5442. Botanical Heights Home LLC subdivided land at 4117 through 27 McCree and City Block 4970. KAF LLC subdivided land at 3401 through 15 Washington and 3400 through 20 Dr. Samuel T. Shepard Drive and City Block 1055. SSM SLUH Inc. To subdivide land at 3630, 3630 Rear, and 3640 Vista in City Block 2176. SLCC Real Estate LLC to subdivide land at 242 South Van Vendor and 3831 Market in City Block 3918 East. Recommendation that permit for Pullman Development LLC to consolidate land at 3967 Shaw in City Block 5312 be approved subject to certain conditions. And recommendation that permit for Botanical Heights LLC to consolidate land at 4141 and 4143 Blaine in City Block 4969 be approved subject to certain conditions. FOPA Lofts LLC to consolidate land at 3700 through 24th Park, 3667, 3669. 3673, 3673, 3673, 3673, 3673, 3673, 3673, 3673, 3673, 3673, and an ordinance to vacate the 10, 10 feet wide L-shaped alley in City Block 798 is bounded by Shenandoah 10th, Lamp, Lammy, and Menard. Be approved. An ordinance to vacate the 10 feet wide north-south alley, the remaining portion of the 20 foot wide <coughs> east-west alley, and the 25 foot wide north-south alley in City Block 2273 it's bounded by Union Pacific Railroad, 21st, Gratiot, and 22nd, and a portion of Gratiot being 134.01 feet east of, of 22nd and extending 73.5 feet eastwardly to a portion of Gratiot previously vacated by Ordinance 65340. Recommendation that permit for Barry Mark Court to encroach with eight feet cedar, cedar privacy fence, fence at 7237 Commonwealth be approved subject to certain conditions. From the Director of Public Safety. Recommendation that the following festival zones be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. SEC Basketball Fanfare to hold event March 8 through 11, 2018 at 14th Street between Clark and Market. Second Street Company Party to hold event June 5, 2018 at 11th Street between Olive and Locust. And the Little Bit 5K to hold event August 25, 2018 <coughs> for the Little Bit Foundation 5K Run and Walk on Lenore K. Sullivan from Popular to, to Car. Recommends approval. Now we have the conditional use. Good afternoon, members of the board, Mr. President. My name is Terrell Island, zoning plan examiner for the city of St. Louis, representing the building commissioner. And per border number 766, transmitted here with the recommendations for the following conditional use applications. Approval with conditions are recommended for five applications, and they are 5976 Summit Avenue, 3238 Minnesota Avenue, 2613 through 17 Marcus Avenue, 1610 Hampton Avenue, and 2819 Cherokee Street. I request that these recommendations be approved as submitted. Are there any questions about these conditional use permits? 
Are there any questions from the board on the conditional uses? Seeing none, I'll take a motion, please. Motion to approve the conditional uses. Second. Moving second for approval. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Wilson. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Augustine is excused. Director Moore. Aye. Director Edwards. Aye. And President Bradley. Aye. Conditional uses are approved. I turn your attention to our meeting minutes from last Tuesday, January 23rd, 2018. Are there any questions or comments on the minutes as presented? I move to approve the minutes. Second. Moving second for approval. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Wilson. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Augustine is excused. Director Moore. Aye. Director Edwards. Stain. And President Bradley. Aye. The minutes are approved. Today's agenda, before we open the floor for comments, I just want to make one clarification. Under the Director of Public Utilities and Streets, under the applications for charter, item three is at 1833 Knox Avenue. Knox. Okay. Are there any questions or other comments on the agenda? Mr. President, um, I don't believe item six was read right under applications for AT&T. Is that still a part of the agenda? Public utilities and streets. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. AT and T in St. Louis County right away along. Dutail, Dutail Lane for approximately 130 feet to Dutail Lane and right, right away in section of Grandfather St. Louis City water property before continuing back until St. Louis County right away along Dutail Lane due to water taking place in St. Louis County. Only city utility involved is water. And, and that's subject to, that's approved subject to certain conditions. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments or questions on today's agenda? So you now take a motion, please. Motion to approve. Second. Moved and second for approval. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie. Aye. Director Wilson. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Augustine is excused. Director Moore. Aye. Director Edwards. Aye. And President Bradley. Aye. Today's agenda is approved. Um, motion for adjournment, please. Um, I have a comment, President. I, uh, it was my oversight. I had a last second thing last Tuesday, so I did not attend the meeting. So if I could change that from I to uh, abstain. Mr. Thank President. you. Because I was in Kansas. Noted for both of you. Thank you. Any further questions or comments? Seeing none, take a motion for adjournment, please. So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting adjourned.